subscribe or you'll be visited by the toll troll. Best low stress jobs? Waging isn't that bad addition? Regard caretaker? Sleeping night shift in particular. I love it. Sometimes do day shifts too. Made all the money I needed to gamble my way into. Make it territory just hanging out and being a friend. To my regard, brothers love them. Inspiration. I try to be a role model for kids around the park. If some kid wants to grow dope, they can come talk to me. Instead of growing dope six or seven times through denial and error, they're going to get it right the first time. Professional butt wipers assemble. Best do-nothing job I'll ever have. A guy's garage gym was right next door and I ate all the free food. Worked solo some nights and made 28 an hour. Two people died while I was watching Golden Girls reruns. It was cash. Sometimes it makes me a little sad that the most human jobs pay the least. I'm an accountant and my pay is moderately good. I can even create a coin on pink sale if I want. But who the heck cares about numbers? This stuff is boring as heck. One of my brothers died today. Knew him for two years. Really wish I had more time. I knew it was coming and hadn't seen him in a couple months. Love that dude. Butt wiping is kind of satisfying once you're close with your brothers. Thanks for all the joy and friendship special bro. I will make it for you. I was a waiter and bartender in college and was making between $500 to $600 a week in tips. People hate on those jobs but they're honestly great. I hate the same job as you. I'd argue the kids can be stressful because you're stuck babysitting them and fighting traffic at the same time. But as a whole it's surprisingly comfy. Maybe even soulful because some of the smaller ones are very endearing. The trick is to work in a majority white rural slash suburb area, stay the heck away from the city slickers and districts with swarms of POC. Get to go on all the field trips, charters, sports events. Free entry everywhere, band has six flags, you get free admission and rides. If the charter is long, bring my laptop and play video games for 6-10 to 10 hours. Maybe even drive to a restaurant to pass the time. Company doesn't care as long as they get home. Weddings always tip, have gotten a few hundred dollar bills here and there. Have all the same holidays the school has, just collected unemployment this week and can do the same for summer vacation. Company rolls any work done on summer as a fat check when school starts to keep it fair. Basically free money for two months on top of any other work done. Pay is starting to become competitive because all the old people quit during the COVID scare. I've had elementary kids say genuinely nice or funny things, kinda hard to describe but it melts the heart. Jobs definitely not for everyone. But if you can find a good district, it's the bee's knees. Concierge here. The ultimate low-stress chill job. Work at luxury apartment. Press the button to let people in. And say hi. Also log some packages in that get delivered. Get backup keys for people who get locked out of their unit in YouTube or vid or whatever the heck you want the rest of the shift. Yesterday I got a cutie's number who lives there since she's moving. Italian chick with thick butt. Bud tender? I sell drugs, and they give me a free bag of testers every two weeks. Driver. Private chauffeur. I get to drive a fancy car, do small errands, eat expensive food and it leave me enough time for my personal hobbies which is gaming, been playing shrapnel on Superverse, and crypto trading. Today is my heckin' day off and having is happening, just perfect. I drove for Uber Eats for like half a year, and I'd put Uber up there as comfy as heck. Problem is I live an hour away from a decent-sized metro so you can't make any money with it. Really driving two hours commute a day to drive for Uber. And it's too much time commitment, but if I could do that here I probably would've. Get one of those. Lame. Ah, electric bikes OP. Those are scumfy. As heck to drive in between traffic and crowded areas, and work properly good, getting decent speeds to make deliveries faster. I thought about doing it, and I did it for like a week before getting tired keck. Smex worker for older women. It's kind of disgusting honestly but I'm getting paid $600 to have Smex four times a day. There's worse jobs. 